Discovery. That's what childhood is all about. We kids are constantly discovering things about the world and ourselves. And that's what BC Children's Hospital is all about too. Of course, Canadians have a long and proud history of invention and discovery. From the zipper, to basketball, to telephones, to light bulbs, and insulin. Back in 1922, two Canadian doctors discovered insulin and how it could be used to treat diabetes patients. This is an insulin pump. It helps my friend Corin here keep her blood sugar at a healthy level. She discovered she had type 1 diabetes when she was almost two years old. Here's another family that just discovered their child has diabetes. BC Children's Hospital teaches the families how to manage it. Hey, why are you poking the bear? I'm practicing giving this bear insulin, which is better than practicing on my daughter, Claire. So Asha, what happens when a family discovers their child has diabetes? Well, we see about 120 new families per year. However, the education is individualized to each patient and their families. The big goal in our diabetes education is for the families to feel comfortable and confident with managing their child's diabetes once they get home. Aiden, one of the great things about Children's Hospital is that we have researchers on site trying to find a cure for diabetes. They need blood samples from our patients. Would you be able to take this one over? Sure, I'll go right over. The research lab is just a few steps from the hospital. So diabetes patients here get the benefits of the latest discoveries. Hey, Dr. Fischer. Hi, Aiden. Welcome. Dr. Fischer, I know there's something in this blood that researchers need to study, but I don't really know how diabetes works. And I also heard that there's two types. That's right. Come on, I'll show you. Dr. Fischer explained diabetes the fun way. Aiden, in our lab, we study type 1 diabetes. And in type 1 diabetes, bad immune cells like this one kill the white insulin-producing cells in the pancreas like these. Mm -hmm. Want to try? OK. Let's do it. Ah, there. So when enough of the insulin-producing cells have been destroyed, your glucose goes up because that's what insulin does. It regulates your blood sugar. And that's not good for your health. And that's why people with diabetes have to take insulin every day. So what discoveries are you and your research team looking for? Well. For one, we're trying to find ways to stop these immune cells from killing the insulin-producing cells. And we're trying to find ways to replace the insulin-producing cells that have been destroyed. And one of the ways we're trying to do that is with stem cells. If we can find ways to turn these red stem cells into insulin-producing cells, we may have a new source of insulin-producing cells and potentially a cure for diabetes. Last time you come down here, then you have too much insulin in you and we'd have to give you some more food. We need improved diabetes care and a cure because diabetes has a huge impact on families. So blood sugars need to be tested at least four times a day, sometimes even more often. All of this on top of monitoring their meals can add a lot of stress to a family. And even though there have been a lot of improvements in technology, living with diabetes can be quite a burden for the families. Dr. Bashir, do you really think a cure can be found for diabetes? We're getting closer all the time. And I think with ongoing support, we'll get there. And a cure for diabetes might help us find a cure for other autoimmune disorders as well, like the ones we see here at Children's Hospital. Medical discovery is the reason why I'm alive today. With your help, researchers here at BC Children's Hospital can keep looking for a way to help diabetes patients like Corin. Thank you. Shishet. <laughs>